<laughs> hey, I'm Sonny Carlin. I'm a stand-up comedian, aspiring stand-up comedian, I guess. And I'm here in the Six and a Half Street, right behind Kill, to or Kill Tony, where it's going to be the Comedy Mothership, which is here on the road. I guess it's your right, mm -hmm. right? So this will be the right. Yeah, it's going to be on the right. So, and I'm here interviewing with something with somebody who is possibly uh, a police detective. I don't know. Yeah, that's Christy. She looks really, really nice, and I think she's actually killed like four people. I think. I think. Oh, this is Justin. This is Justin. This is this is one of our Grant to uh, Make a Wish comics. I think. He's like. Sonny is gay. Stop telling people, bro. Oh. He's really gay. Sonny's gay. <laughs> Look at his outfit. Shut up, Audrey. God. Everyone here is nice. It's a really nice community here. Everybody's really, everybody's really so nice and uh, welcoming and everything like that. Guys, if you're if you're here, who's holding down the orphanage? Yeah, so those people are nice. Anything like that. If you if you pan behind you, you'll see the homeless ladies behind you. Not that guy. Not the guy with the headband. He was nice. Yeah. Very very nice. sick. Everything. Do you have any questions? a scene like back here sad sad that's what it, it's sad back here um we're all desperate unless that's just me maybe it's me projecting but like you know it's just like we're all signed like we're standing in an alley like what does that say like you don't need any more answers than that you don't need more than that it's like how desperate are you i'll stand in an alley for four hours hoping to get my name pulled out of 150 comics like come on let's be real but you know it can be it can i mean there's a reason why we do it. In this alley, in this alleyway, dude selling like mushrooms and shit. So I took a door guy job at Coyote Ugly across the street, and I literally watched a homeless lady give a homeless dude a blowjob for apple juice. But last week a crackhead stole this guy's headphones. I left my headphones, like I have a great pair of Beats, and I left it around in a circle full of comics. I, I fuck up and I always talk to the homeless people. And then he demanded my friend to give him a free beer. And then when he walked away, my friend comes back and he's like, where are my headphones? And I'm like, oh, there's nothing's gonna happen to this. I asked like the comics around like, hey guys, did one of you guys take the headphones? I know for sure I left them here. And I was like, oh God. And so I turn around the corner and then the homeless guy's on his back and the comics like, you fucking bitch, I knew you took them. And so he got his headphones back. One time I got uh, punched by a hooker. She took my money, <laughs> but I should have not done that. <laughs> that was in Baltimore. So I thought cheap was better, but cheap is not better. She took my money and she saw I was a tiny guy and she was a little uh, healthy. So she punched me and I said, oh my goodness. So that was, but I liked it though. <laughs> I was a homeless guy showering last week and he was using a hose and then all of his water started flowing through the alley so it wasn't just piss this time it was actual like waste coming from a, a homeless man it smelled like dying cows and babies in a blender <laughs> diluted with piss and vomit and cum There's a ton of really talented people in Austin. Like, there is so many people who are absolutely hilarious in this city. Like, I, it's it's tough to, like, just base it off of, like, somebody who I think just absolutely kills it. But as far as people who kill it and do, like, really good things for the comedy scene, just in the short time that I've been in it, and I can see it, it'd be, like, Alden Schaub and um, Zach Black, probably. Like, those guys do a lot of things, put on a lot of mics, you know, do they'll help and talk to anybody, you know, so I, I think those guys probably. Uh, I hate Derek Dimple. I boycott Derek Dimple products. He, so the first week of Kill Tony, my friend Doug started selling beer for $5, and then Derek started selling it for 4 like a little weasel he is. 
and we should not support him. He has a lawn chair and an entire cooler, and you should interview him at some point if you haven't, and you'll understand why you should boycott his products. He is trans, but he doesn't know that yet. <laughs> oh, dude, I think I saw someone's, like, uh, dick and balls the other day, bro. And it wasn't even a comic. It was one of the homeless people, which is the same thing. It's like, but, like, it, it was pretty nice. And there's, like, this one weird guy. He looks like a duck. Um, he's fucking, actually, like, a human Q-tip. It's called Derek Dimple. He's selling beer over there and everything. And, like, that guy is definitely, like, wanted in other countries. And if you ever see the guy, Derek Dimple, you know, that guy is, like, really cool guy. And, uh, you know, just don't hurt me, Derek. <laughs> so I'm saying, but, like, he's a cool guy. Why am I, well, for Kill Tony. Yeah, Kill Tony is why I'm here. Um, I've been coming here many of times, like 140. Been up once, I'm killing the game. There was a homeless guy showering last week and he was using a hose and then all of his water started flowing through the alley. So it wasn't just piss this time. It was actual like waste coming from a, a homeless man. And the water actually smelled worse than piss. It smelled like dying cows and babies in a blender, <laughs> diluted with piss and vomit and cum. And I'm surrounded by this man. They're disgusting. You can't tell who's homeless and who's just signing up or who's both. Um, I moved here actually a month ago today. So this is my third time uh, back here in the alley on Kill Tony. Um, as I expected, I have not been on yet. Um, but I love it here, man. Uh, this is just a cool thing they do, so. The sketchiest thing, I was, okay. Well, again, when I like, first moved here, I've been here maybe, I don't know, two weeks. And we don't have Whataburgers back home, right? So I was like, I gotta try this Whataburger thing out because everybody rants and raves, right? So I get in the drive-thru, it's like a Saturday night at like, I don't know, probably one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, I don't know. And I'm sitting there in the drive-thru line and like four dudes jump out of a Nissan Altima and like three dudes jump out of a Kia Soul and just start fighting in the middle of the Whataburger drive-thru. Like, I was like, this is fucking crazy. And then I saw it again, like almost the same thing, except it was like four months later. And I was like, oh, this is common. Like this just is a thing that happens. In terms of who's coming up, um, you know, I don't still don't know a ton of people out here. Um, I know Casey Rockets really, he, he went from being kind of big to like, I don't know if it's just the one Kill Tony appearance he had, but I mean, he is probably one of the most unique comedians I've seen and he is hilarious. <laughs> um, but I don't know, just in general, um, it's just, there are a lot of people, there are a lot of comics out here. I mean, it's just crazy how many people are out here. Um, but that doesn't mean there's not spots. It doesn't mean there's not opportunity to do things because there certainly is. And I would definitely recommend Austin. Awesome. I was like, the, I'm kidding. I was fat, I was chubby. I was a chubby little kid that I got made fun of. Um, I'm a middle child, so I got big issues there. Big issues, you know, no one loved me. That's what, I, that's what we say as a middle child. Um, but I do was just like the class clown. I wanted everybody to love me, still do. Um, for me, I've been to a lot of big cities and I really enjoy the vibe of Austin more than anywhere else. I think comedy has something very special here. Something that you can't really find anywhere else. Such a mixed bag. There's, every, there's killers from everywhere. Denver, Chicago, Seattle, New York, Los Angeles, Miami. You get it all here in Austin and that's the beautiful thing about this town right now. Since Mothership's opened up, I've been here almost two years, and uh, it's just constantly growing. A lot more maniacs showing up, which I feel is competition because I want to be the best crackhead on the streets. Yeah, I'm just going to the mics. I'm trying to go to as much as possible, which has been a lot. It's been exhausting, um, but I feel like it's worth it. I feel like the more I do mics, the more comfortable I am. Um, but it's interesting out here. There are a lot of like bucket mics, so it's not like a guarantee you'll get on. Um, but there are a lot of cool things too. Like I just did like a minute mic over at Sunset. Um, so that's a good way to just get something in at least. Um, so it's been fun. Hopefully uh, my name will spread. So I was in a long distance relationship, right? This girl was amazing. Like checked all the boxes. Everything was going super great, right? And she texted me out of the blue one night. And she goes, hey, I don't know if I can do this long distance thing anymore. I said, what do you mean? Question mark. Left me on red for no joke. Like three months. Hadn't heard from the girl, right? Nothing. I get invited over by mutual friends, like they were doing some like viewing party for a TV show, right? I sit down on the couch, the TV show was The Bachelor and she walked out of a limo. Uh, my name is Muhammad Aslam, I'm from Pakistan and uh, I love uh, comedy and I heard a lot. Uh, Till Tony, it's uh, all over, it's a very popular show. 
so I wanted to be on it. And uh, I've been doing stand-up in uh, New York, and I did some uh, at Flappers, Burbank, at a comedy store, but mostly open mics. But I was a little bit regular on the Flappers in Burbank. So, but this is the biggest of all. If I get roasted, I'm just gonna take it in stride, honestly, because I, you know, Tony, he's he's quick with it. Like I like to think that I can talk a little bit of shit, but Tony, everything from everything I've seen, he's good. So, what was I like as a kid? Uh, I grew up in foster care. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's this comedian. Her name's uh, Audrey Scott. What? Yeah, uh, not you, Audrey. Okay. But uh, yeah, Audrey That's Scott. Funny. Yeah, she's she was actually born with three sets of genitals, dog. It's fucking crazy, bro. Yeah, she's actually like part lizard and like somewhere from like Virginia and stuff like that. So it's like it's weird. She says she's from Virginia and everything like that, but I've literally seen her eat bugs off the ground, and it was like it was it was weird. It was weird. It, Audrey, I'm in the middle of an interview. All right, I'm not even talking about you. That's yeah, Audrey. Good, good, good. We are gonna California, the fuck out of Texas. Unfortunately, it is what it is. They're saying, oh, we're gonna turn all your kids gay. Probably. Probably. I don't know what they got planned, but the guys from San Francisco who are coming, I'm from I'm from San Bernardino. We come we rock pretty conservative. But those guys from Los Angeles and San and San Francisco, they're coming. And yeah, they they're probably gonna do everything they want. I mean they have the money. In the alley, there was this one guy, it was my first week back here, this guy just picked up a shard of glass, put it in his pocket and walked away. They never took it out again. I'm sure everyone knows this guy, right? Casey Rocket is a fucking dog, dude. I'm sorry if I can't curse. I, I may have curse. I can curse. But yeah, Casey Rocket is a bro. Uh, I just saw him earlier today. He's he's now got a job with the Comedy Mothership as a doorman. He's one of the funniest guys, craziest guys I know. I'm sure you know him. 